Yeah, this kid, you hear me? I'm going over. After flying to an altitude of 39,045 metres in a helium-filled balloon, Felix Baumgartner completed a record-breaking jump for the ages from the edge of space, a mission that transcended human limits. Away. But how was this spectacular live broadcast event realised? Red Bull's vision about broadcasting the Stratos project was clear. It should be a full-scale multi-camera TV production live from the edge of space. Riedel Communications, both a rental supplier and a manufacturing company with creative thinking and high-end R&D resources, was Red Bull's ideal partner for this mission. With severe restrictions in weight and power consumption and the challenge of mastering the wireless connection between Earth and the stratosphere, Riedel's engineers started to develop a special remote control system for controlling the 12 cameras, still cameras, recorders and switches securely from ground control. Riedel also furnished a specially developed RF downlink solution with GPS tracked antennas at two reception sites. Once on the ground, the signals were transported via Riedel's Medionet fibre network infrastructure, which connected all areas of the production compound. For enabling reliable communications between Felix Baumgartner and all team members at Mission Control, Riedel provided a solution based on its artist intercom platform with fully integrated digital radio systems. And confirm a pressure suit inflation. Let me know when it inflates. I'm pumping the cable version of 40,000 feet. To achieve maximum reliability, all Riedel solutions provide a complete redundancy. Because in this mission critical application, one thing was sure, there's no room for failure. Start the cameras and our guardian angel will take care of you. Jump her away. And so on October 14th, Felix Baumgartner landed safely with his parachute in the desert of New Mexico after jumping out of his space capsule at 39,045 metres and plunging back towards Earth, hitting a maximum speed of 1,342.8 kilometres per hour before being slowed by the atmosphere during the latter stages of his 4 minutes 20 seconds long freefall. Countless millions of people around the world watched his ascent and jump live on television broadcasts and live streams on the internet, not least with the help of the world record technology from Riedel Communications.